the disease at all. I went on a quest around the world to find out what causes a man to get sick and what man can do to get well. By the sheer fact that you're here and breathing, there is hope. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Zoe Today. I'm Zeke, your home base coordinator on set here in Atlanta. Our host, Damon Davis, is broadcasting in live from our Chicago hub. And today he's taking a short break from our week's topic of inflammation to talk to you about you. It's a new year, and today's theme is a new me in 2023. He's going to be focusing on your dreams, your goals, and your talents. Health and wellness is not just about what happens in your body, but so much of your well-being is lifted by getting on the right track to achieving your dreams. And Damon wants to help you get out of your own way and learn some practical steps to transform your mindset into one destined for success. Joining the discussion today is special guest, dream and career coach, Terry Crook, author of It's Only Halftime, your playbook to your second win. Now, if you're joining us here on the Word Network, be sure to set your reminders because we are here live every day from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time. And at the same time, you can also watch us on social media. Simply visit zoetoday.com and you can join us live on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and even Twitch. However you're tuning in, be sure to hit subscribe, like, follow, and share, and ask any questions you have because your interaction will help shape our after show that will continue to stream online from 1.30 p.m. Eastern to at least 2 p.m. And that's where we really let loose, okay? So let's get started. Amen. Hey, 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 everybody. Hi. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm going to say it every day this week because I am happy that it is a new year. We welcome you to the show. I'm Damon Davis, your host. But listen, I'm also, I'm gonna start saying it. I'm about to launch our podcast. Damon and Dr. Joe, we're so excited about it. It's gonna be an international podcast where we're actually, watch this now, we're gonna allow real people. What else would there be but real, right? Somebody said, why do you say real people? We're real, yeah. We have people from all over the world calling in, or we are going to, in areas where we can, areas where we have medical jurisdiction, we're going to begin to diagnose, did you hear that, on air, what might be going on in their body, or they may bring us, that means we would be looking at the blood work, we would be looking at what's going on in the, in the gut health, you know, or, or, or people that have already being given some name of something that's going on in their life and they're looking for help to get out of it. And yours truly, America's America's wellness coach, come on somebody. And one of our good doctors, Dr. Joseph Feuerstein, who is a, a doctor, a medical doctor of integrative medicine. He's a graduate. Uh, he's been under, uh, if anybody knows his name, Dr. Andrew Weil. This is one of the students of that tremendous mind that has really been a driver to help us figure out what is at the root cause of sickness and disease. So we're excited and I'm going to keep saying happy new year until we get as many people connected with us, calling in, writing to us, letting us help you win in life. Remember the show is live. Zeke said it right. So I say it now, you get it in three seconds. There's nothing edited unless you're watching one of our rebroadcasts. Re re that means that I need you to engage. So as me and my guest, Terry Crook, I'm so excited as we get into today's show, talking about the new me in 23, uh, I want to hear from you. The first half hour, you don't have to wait. First half hour, you can be engaging with us, asking questions, because then after this, we go to the after show. Damon, what's that? That means when we close out here, we're live, again, still live, another half hour, in our digital environment, blog, talk, YouTube, many, many platforms. And there is where let my hair down, so to speak, and we get into it. And I ask, answer those questions you've asked. You got it? So uh, you got to be engaged today because Terry Crook, Terry and I have been friends for some time, and she is a powerhouse as it pertains to getting into your life and helping you figure out what you got to do to overcome. She is a author. She is a motivational speaker. 
And I mean, not one of one of those speakers that just, you know, makes you feel good and you leave and what do I do next? But she is a practical step-by-step motivational speaker. So you feel good. You feel empowered and in, 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 and in charge, but she tells you what to do. Right. And then finally, uh, she's somebody, if you're trying to figure out what to do in your career, she is a career coach. Very important part. You can say Damon is a is a biological wellness coach. I'm going to help you get 22 pounds off in under 30 days. That's possible. I'm going to help you get inflammation down and all that good stuff. But when it comes to what are you supposed to do now that you're healthy, all that energy you got, brain power you got, how you can you turn that into the right career path? Remember, job is just over broke. That's what J-O-B stands for. We need a career path. We need to know where we're going and how to get that money on the way there. Come on, somebody. So Terry Crook, I welcome you to Zoe today. So good to have you. So good to see you. It's an honor to be here and I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you, David. And I just love that description of job. That's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Isn't that true? Isn't that true though? Yes, Listen, you yes. are, I, I, I tried to do my best telling people who you are and I wanna give you enough time to speak. It means I'm going to try to not interrupt you a lot. You've got a lot to say. So before you kind of dive into um, the first question, why, why is it so important right now for us to realize that there should be a new me in 2023? Before you dive into just letting them, encouraging them, let them know why that matters. Share a little bit of the, uh, of the in, more information about who you are and what you do. Fill in those gaps because I want them to know why you're my guest on this show. Okay. Well, first of all, when you're born with the name Crook, you know, you come into this world like, all right, how did I get this name? <laughs> okay. But my father set me down as a young girl when I came home crying one day, because every time I went to a new school and had to stand up and say my name and kids would tease me, oh, she's a crook. She's going to steal your book, you know? And so, cause my father was in the military, so we trapped. And when he explained to me, he just asked me the one question, do you want to be like everybody else? And I went, wow. He said, that's why you have that name. It wow. sets you apart. Well, but on. you define what that name means to you. That's okay. Good. That's good. And I, from then on, I get a job with the government with the crook. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Knocking on my door saying I owe taxes and the last <laughs> name is Crook. So I had to deal with that. So whenever I will go out speaking, when I started with a position where I was working with congressmen and, and senators and and I would go out to uh, speak to people about identity theft and so forth, I would always introduce myself as the only legal crook that they <laughs> meet today that's with the Internal Revenue Service. And so <laughs> that's how I was able to just overcome and really uh, accept my name. And, and whenever I introduce myself, I always tell people, I said, you know, I'm the only legal crook you've met today, or I'm the only legal crook in your phone right now. So that's how I was able to get through that. Wow. That's <laughs> um, you wrote a book. It's only yeah. halftime. And I know mm -hmm. that's also a, the name of your org of, of one of your organizations that focuses on helping people uh, get the get stuff together and get on the right right pathway, uh, not just financially, but in all aspects of their life. So, Terry, the new me in 23, what we want to encourage people to know is that they didn't just happen by this show by happenstance. I believe that it's an important connection point to get real-time information in all three areas, whether it's your finances, whether it's relationships, uh, maybe you're trying to figure out uh, how to overcome some stuff in the path, past, but at the core of the show is health and wellness based upon science, medicine, uh, and we're really helping take a sledgehammer, if you will, to what's going on in people's bodies. Right. People are overweight. Um, mm -hmm. They don't want to be, but they are. They put on some pounds, been trying for years to get it off. They've tried every yo-yo fad diet that there is. 
and uh, and and many people are not healthy. Statistically, we're looking at a an increase in in disease and uh, sickness and disease factors. We're looking at a decrease in people that are getting off of medication and getting their life back. Mm-hmm. And my goodness, every one of us knows what it was like through COVID. I mean, it's like, it seems everything's been turned upside down. And there's never, though, because of what happened through COVID, never been a greater spotlight by all industry of, of areas that deal with biology, focus on how can we build up the body and get the body in such a place that you can can be strong physically uh, and fight off sickness and disease. And most people don't know that your immune system is depleted when you're distressed, depressed, worried, discouraged. And so we bring guests like you on the show, Terry, not to just talk about, hey, how to get on the right career path, but there is a battle going on in the mind. Yes. Our ability to manage our emotions and to be able to look at things the right way that help promote the right kind of process in the body that we bring inflammation down and we, we uh, have our immune system be able to fight off sickness and disease. But there's one more thing for everybody watching right now that made a New Year's resolution. And I hope that you did. Let, yeah. Let's be in agreement that we're going to stick to it. And so, Terry, I'm giving you the podium. Talk and give us what we need to know to help us achieve these things. Let me start with, with, with myself here because I came into the new year. You know, every year I, I always have these goals, what I'm going to do and so forth. And then... You know, then as months go by, you go, okay, what was that goal again? And so, but this year I said, I'm going to do something different. I'm going to love and really like me in 2023. Ooh, and how am I going to do that? I said, first of all, I got to, I got to get out of my own mind, my own headset. Okay. Because for instance, like you were talking about gaining weight and so forth. Okay. So. I went to the doctor for my annual physical and I had to get on the scale. All right. And I want to be like these boxers. I want to take off all my clothes, my shoes, my jewelry, my wig. I want to take off everything (laughs) and get on the scale. Okay. Because when I got on the scale and saw, I said, oh, something's wrong with this scale. And the nurse was like, well, it is what it is. I said, well, I need to start taking off something so you can get the scale. A liar. (laughs) But the bottom line, it was my truth, okay? Mm. Because I had been an emotional eater, okay? And I was always in my head about things, okay? Second guessing things and so forth. But this summer, I had a brother who lost uh, his battle with prostate cancer. Mm. And I would go up there uh, to the hospital and to hospice and I would bring him food and what he didn't eat, I would eat. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so there a lot, but he prepared for what was happening. He prepared himself, but I had to get out of my way and prepare myself for still being here and helping. Okay. Yep. And leading the family and so forth. But the thing that I realized, most people, we stay in our minds, our headset. It's what we feed our mind. What you think about, you bring about. Yeah. Okay? Good. So I tell people all the time, first thing in the morning, you should get up telling yourself something. Affirmations. Affirmations are good. My favorite book of a- affirmation is As I Think It by James Allen. Something as simple as I am the master of my thought, the molder of my character and the maker and shaper of my condition, environment and destiny. That's good. You read that every day and you start telling yourself and believing or put it up where you can read it. Okay, but also think about. You know, not only now we all you you talk a lot about what you're feeding into your mouth, but what you're feeding into your mind. Okay, because sometimes when you're sitting down and you're thinking about what you're going to do, you're coming up with your goals because everybody's come up with these new year goals. But you got to say to your you got to come up with 
what you're going to accomplish and you got to make it easy not hard for yourself well, to accomplish it that's okay good. terry if i may um you just triggered a thought you know what you're speaking to is something that we do here at at, uh, at zoe we we teach people uh, about the the primary plate of food okay. we all know the plate of food right okay. uh, but there's a primary plate it's it's in other words long before what we are so worried about what we're putting in our mouth and we should be by the way and long before we're we're micromanaging if you will counting of calories and mm -hmm. is it the right kind of dense carbs am i eating too mm -hmm. much sugar is this too much caffeine mm -hmm. is this fried and not long before we put that kind of scrutiny on that stuff which is important there's something called primary food it's all the stuff you you just said it's all the stuff we put in our life bring into our life Mm -hmm. Long before what comes through our mouth. Keep mm -hmm. going. This is good. And mm -hmm. then we go to a break. Keep going. Yes. So, for instance, I was at a leadership conference. Uh, where it was leadership training. And we had to climb this telephone pole and jump. Okay. Well, I was climbing and I had no problems climbing. But when I got to the top and got into my head, I started thinking about, um, Okay, how, okay, so when I make this jump, what is this jump gonna be for? What am I jumping for? Okay, and then I got to thinking, and how am I gonna land? All right, am I gonna land on my behind and bounce back up? Or am I gonna land on my feet? Or what if I land the wrong way and I can't get back up? And then all of a sudden, my team member from below called out, Terry, get out of your head. And I realized that's exactly where I was. And before you know it, I jumped landed on my feet and that was the best thing that i could have ever done <laughs> get out of your head and watch you see yourself move wow because one thing damon one thing we hate change but it's 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 scientific because in our bodies our bodies are meant to protect us yeah. for change yeah. but it's what you feed yourself you got to be able to say change is okay it's true it's terry okay. it's true you know so many people are afraid to let go of something, mm -hmm. but there's a principle. You can't grab on to something else until you oftentimes let go of something else. Maybe that mm -hmm. is, is speaking to somebody now, mm -hmm. but the process of change isn't easy. You know, people generally speaking are afraid of change. And I will tell you, oftentimes our fear of change, our fear of the unknown, mm -hmm. it'll be the very driving force that keeps you right where you are and you're not mm -hmm. happy where you are anyway mm -hmm. in other words mm -hmm. you know some of the we get into a root listen we're, we're kind of pretty good at developing routines and right. workarounds mm -hmm. quite candidly to compensate and manage pain and mm -hmm. to manage you know the deficiencies in life but you know what mm -hmm. in order for true change to happen you got to be willing to accept change in and i'll tell you change is a wonderful thing because how else do we learn our, we don't learn by falling down. We learn by getting up. We, we yes. yes, it's a it's a tough thing to mm -hmm. reprioritize your life, to reprioritize relationships, to reprioritize mm -hmm. money. It's a hard mm -hmm. thing to slow down, stop, and do a true, you know, introspection of your mm -hmm. life. If you're afraid of the discomfort that might follow by change, but let me tell you, you're going to learn something. So. Look, we're going to go to a break. Terry, when we come back, I'm going to get right into to what your book, and we're, we're, we're kind of skimming along the surface. These shows go so fast. When we come back, I want you to, get, to get, tell us a little bit more about the book that you wrote, because I want to pe get people uh, to, to, to hear about it. And I got a very special, special gift uh, for, for people that are coming back into the show. I want to share with you. You don't want to miss it. Word from our sponsor. Be right back. Thank you. Being healthy is important now more than ever to combat whatever illness comes your way. With knowledge and oversight from our board of licensed medical professionals is proud to offer Zoe 60, an easy to follow complete lifestyle program. Not only will the program help you lose weight and keep it off, but it's designed specifically to help you balance your spirit, soul, and body. The program that we put together puts you in a place to heal yourself, and it doesn't take long for you to see the benefits of that. 
your first step is to pick up the phone and call the Zoe Logics expert team of trained doctors and health consultants right now. Our Zoe Logics team will provide you with a customized evaluation in order to guide you through your lifestyle transformation and help you achieve internal balance. Call now to set up a remote consultation with our wellness coaches. They will walk you step by step through this life-changing program online and you can lose up to 30 pounds or more in just 60 days and vastly improve your overall health. The statements that was made to me was, we want to heal what's inside so that your body can do what it's supposed to do and that's burn the fat. I lost 36 pounds in 30 days. It's more than weight loss, it's true wellness and it's the kind of program that works for the rest of your life and believe me, it's that simple. All of this without the pills, without expensive exercise equipment, without prepackaged foods. Call right now using code Zoe Free and your initial consultation with the Zoe Logics Health Sciences, normally valued at $100, will be absolutely free. But this is a limited time offer, so you must call right now. You now have no more excuses not to get started on your overall health journey. Call now. Welcome back, everyone. Damon is here still with dream and career coach Terry Crook. We're going to get right back into it. Damon, we have about eight more minutes left in the show. So. <laughs> okay. Then, then, when, when, when Zeke tells me how many minutes we got, Terry, that means hurry it up. Uh, listen. <laughs> exactly. I heard I know. it loud and clear. I, and Terry's like, I got some stuff to say, man. Give me some time. <laughs> listen, real quick. I'll be fast. I'll be fast. If you went out to eat, nice restaurant steak, lobster, whatever you do, right? It's just you and one significant other, right? You know you're going to spend about $200, maybe two, you have to tax everything. You're going to walk out with about a $280 bill. You know what I'm talking about. Two hundred, You're going to spend it. I got something I'm going to feed you better with. It's going to cost me $280 cash because Terry does her business right to get me 20 books, all right? This is the book she's about to talk about, um, but I'm going to buy them. First 20 people, my gift. You can go to Amazon, it's $14 a book. By the way, everybody should go to Amazon and get a book, period. But uh, I got one for you. First 20 people, all you got to do is email me. Email me, Damon Davis at damondavis.com. And that's simple. Damon, I actually read my emails. Damon Davis at damondavis.com. Email and uh, just say, want the book. Very simple. And I'm going to send you this book for free. Last but not least, really quick. We're giving away, it's a $2,000 value uh, for anybody watching that wants to register register to be selected to go on the, the Zoe 30 Challenge. People are coming through our centers, uh, the physical centers, and, uh, and they're coming in and, and they're not only losing weight, they're getting off high blood pressure medication, they're, they're getting off, uh, uh, truly, some of their doctors are saying, I'm not sure that you need that type two medication anymore. You know what I'm talking about. And so we want to invite you, email me, Damon Davis at damondavis.com. And I want to hear about your story. I'm going to select one person in the month of January, and I'm going to give you the value of $2,000 by enrolling you at no charge into our Zoe protocol. You got it? All right, Terry. Tell them about this book because I probably already got 20 emails while I was running my mouth. Okay. If you are someone who have forgotten what it is that you always wanted to do because you either got married, had kids, you focused on your career, or you were fortunate enough to take care of your parents. I'm here to tell you it's only halftime. You are still in the game. I'm gonna help you get off the bench and back into the game by helping you assess who you are, define your passion and identify your position. That's right, because some of y'all may be playing in a different position that you're really uh, uh, born to do. That's that's just not you. You know, you think you're supposed to be the quarterback, but no, you're supposed to be the running back. So I'm gonna help you with this book, it's only halftime, your playbook to your second win. What this is, this is going to be your game book, your book of plays and how to do what you need to do. Like Georgia did last night when Georgia defeated, when Georgia became the national champions, okay? And when they went into that locker room, 
They sat down. They said, yeah, we may be winning, but baby, we're going to we're going to uh, uh, adjust our plan so we can really do it. And remember when the Atlanta Falcons went to the Super Bowl and they played against the New England Patriots. Now, during the halftime, Atlanta was winning, winning, y'all, 28 to three. But baby, by the time we looked up after halftime, when Tom Brady, when he was playing with the Patriots, he came out of that locker room, they didn't even look like the same team. And what happened? In overtime, they beat us, the Atlanta Falcons beat us. It was like 36 to 28. And we were all sitting there looking with our glasses sideways <laughs> like, what happened? That's because... They went in that locker room and they said, listen, we're going to adjust our game game plan because we know it's only halftime. We are still in the game. So you reach out to Coach Terry Crook so I can help you put together your game plan so you can have a winning season. Terry, li Terry, I, listen, I thought my grandfather was a pastor. Most people know that. I got seven generations of pastors and we Pentecostal, a lot of us. Terry. Most people watching, and you you too, will understand what I'm about to say. You about had me running the aisles just then. Listen, we, we, we need encouragement, don't we, folks? Yes, we, we do. Need, we need encouragement. We I'm really ask my do. team the show's live how much time we have because I want our sponsors got to run a little clip for you at the end. We got about two minutes. All right. Well, I'm gonna, listen, two things really quick. Zeke, I'm sorry. I'm going to wrap us up. Zeke usually wrap us, wraps up the show, but let me do this. Terry, may I? Zeke, may I? Really quick. Hey, yes. listen. We need encouragement. This is your year, 2023. I say mm -hmm. it's the new me. That's a decision I've made. None's going to stop me from discovering who it is I was made to be. And if you don't know that yet, come on, connect with Zoe. We're going to help you discover the, the extraordinary life. And I'm bringing people to your conversation, into your conversation, into your life, like Terry Crook, going to help us answer the tough questions that we have. Hey. We may not know the answer, but we want to know the question because together we will find it. So when this show comes to a close, our sponsor is going to wrap us up. I want you to stay live with us. Listen, somebody said there's only five people on today. I'm like, I know because it's a new show. But let me tell you something. I remember you told me we had two. So I'll take the five, right? Maybe we have 20. And the next thing you know, we've got everybody you know who needs this message that will be dialed in. All right. So you stay for the after show. We want to hear your questions. We want to answer them. Thank you so much. We're going to wrap up the program. I think we have how much time? Another minute. We got another 45, one minute, Terry. Zeke, I'm sorry. Terry, you got 45 seconds. Give Listen the people a last word. Just remember, it's not about the time it takes to get there. It's taking the time to get there. You are a winner and you have the time to become the mvp of your life that's so good all right y'all we thank you so much for being part of the program to my team to all of my team at home base in atlanta they're patching me into chicago we thank you for being part of the program tune in tomorrow tell somebody about it connect with us and hey again stay with us on the after show you can go to youtube do a search damon davis Zoe today, you can find us there. You can type in your questions. We will hear them and answer them. We thank you so much. Be blessed today. See you tomorrow, same time right here. All right, welcome to our after show. Zoe, today we are still here. Damon is speaking to Damon and dream and career coach, Terry Crook. And we're right back into it. Hey, y'all, hey, we're still Damon. here. Hey, it's the after show, so we're letting our hair down. Listen, while we were doing, listen, I dropped my phone. We had 98 million homes out there, and, you know, we were trying to be dignified, and I couldn't bend over and pick it up. Terry, you didn't see me. I was trying to use it with my foot to get my phone. I almost fell over in my chair. My goodness. Hey, welcome, everybody. This is the after show. Um, we're doing this live. So you guys get a chance to see stuff like someone hand me my laptop. And um, we weed through technical difficulties. It's live. So because of that, we want to hear from you. 
Um, we don't have an agenda right now for the next half of the show. In fact, you drive the agenda. So if you're asking a question, you're going to help send us into the next direction. We need to go with the show. And uh, what that means is until we, so until, until we get a question from you, um, we'll keep talking, right? And just feed you and just feed you and just feed you. Because um, you, want, you want to know that if you invested your time with us, that you left having answered some question of the day. Or you want to know if you invested your time with us when you came to the table to experience the content that you leave feeling enriched better than you came. Does that make sense? I used to say on the one-on-one -on -one show uh, that I did for seven seasons, Terry remembers it. I used to say, one-on-one, uh, uh, -on -one, we're here to give you one idea, one strategy, one solution to shape your thinking and win today. I said it all the time. So this show. We're here to give you one idea, one strategy, one solution to find Zoe. That's the extraordinary life. Hey, anybody can just live it. Anybody can just live it. That means anybody can just go through and say, okay, I'm going to settle with where my finances are. And I've just, I've learned to deal with it. I, I've just discovered that I just got to get to this really tight budget and, and I can never really want bigger, better things because we've started lying to ourselves and say we don't deserve it. And, and some people even say, oh, you know, that's that's gluttony. Maybe that that's a sin to have a, a nicer car, or a better house. Look, you know what you, I believe, you know what you need. You know that you want to be get up in the morning and have energy and be creative and have a smile on your face and to laugh a little. I know you want to get up and not look in the mirror and be discouraged at what's looking back at you. I know. You want to get up and feel good when you put your clothes on. I know mm -hmm. you want to not have inflammation. I know you don't want to bend over and you're tying your shoe and you're winded. Talking about me right here today. So there's so many people watching that they're ready to know what to do. I hear it, Damon. I heard the motivational speech all the time. I've heard so many, read so many books. I'm waiting for somebody to tell me what to do exactly. Well, that's what we're here for. But it starts with you connecting. You can email Damon Davis at DamonDavis.com and say, that, hey, please help. This is what's going on. And I will put that in the hands of a team of certified wellness coaches and consultants that are trained in so many different areas of expertise. I have a medical team, the best doctors, I would say, in my opinion, I found them, handpicked, helped me go through my journey, the best doctors in America. We do medicine. We also do things that are not medicine. We're not here to diagnose, treat, or cure you. That's what the big industry does. But I can head you in the direction. And for some of you, if you're in a state where we have license, we may be able to actually take you as a patient. I'm telling you. So my job is to bring people to this conversation. And their job is to help me answer your questions. And Terry Crook is here to unpack it for you. So. I got people, it's funny, I got my staff, they tune in into the show and they're like, can I ask a question? I'm like, yeah. If you're on watching me now, hearing the sound of my voice, then you're a human being and I don't need you to be dignified. I need you to ask a question that you want answered and our calling here is to answer it for you and give you the information you need to win. So if you have a question today that Terry can be helpful with, then I want you to ask it. You go online. You put in your question. If for any reason I don't get to it, it's because we run out of time. But we're going to try to get to as five, ten questions as we can. If we're short, um, if there's short answers, it'll only be because I'm trying to make sure we get to as many people as possible. All right? Make sense? Those are the rules. They're clear. If you heard the first part of the show, if you haven't emailed, if you want a book, first 20 emails that came through, we're going to get you a book. If you happen to be 21, let me look at it. If you happen to be 40, I don't know. But if you want a book and the $14 is no big deal, go online and get it. Amazon, type in Terry Crook. You'll find a book, buy it. I'm telling you, it'd be great. Um, and then also we're doing this contest. I'm going to select one person a month to enroll with a team of battle buddies to go through Zoe. I have a gentleman in Jacksonville, Florida that I talked to this morning. He's winning the contest from, from December. And uh, I said, hey, I'm going to send you your Zoe package, and you're going to be 22 pounds lighter in 30 days. 
He said he only needed to lose 16. I said, all right, great. Well, you know what? You're going to lose all 16 and something more. It's going to reset your thinking. You're going to come out of the gate in 2023 like a bull, right? And that's going to be you today. So we want to get to your questions. Terry, you take the podium. First question actually that came through, is it possible to have fear and faith at the same time? Interesting question. And we'll give it to you to try first. Is it possible to have faith and fear at the same time, Terry? Yes, it is. And I'll be lying if I say it is not. Okay. Because we're human. And one side of us say, have the faith, have the faith. You can do this. And then the other side say, but you need to think twice about this because, you know, what if you don't do it? What if if something else were to happen, you know, the way you can't do it. So then that's when you reach the middle ground and you say, wait a minute. You, re- you you incorporate both. You say, yeah, I got the faith. I can do this. I can do it. But then you start working on how you can overcome that thing on your left that's telling you that you can't. So you start speaking to it. And once you start speaking to it, you get it brought down. You know, when I was going to a lot of colleges, uh, several colleges, speaking to the kids um, about major uh coming up with their majors and you know a lot of the kids came to me and they said they were crying and they said you know i'm majoring in my parents dreams and not my own and i would say to them as i'd say to parents chase don't chase the paycheck chase your passion and the paycheck will follow wow that's powerful it always does doesn't it mm-hmm. Some people mm-hmm. say, oh, I wish I had time for my my uh, my hobby, you know, not realizing mm-hmm. that really their hobby is maybe what their their profession should be. Um, some experts say if you're doing anything for five years and you're not making any money at it, it's a hobby. It's a but hobby. There's, so many, there's so many people. So we got to look, sure look at that. We got to look at that. We got to look at that. There's a business, business, there's business. <laughs> but, you know, yeah. so many people are like, wow, I wish I could. I really am passionate about drawing. I'm really passionate about mm-hmm. painting, singing. I'm really passionate about building. I'm I'm a great engineer. I'm really passionate about fixing up somebody's house. Maybe you're an interior decorator. There are dreams inside of you. Uh, there's purpose inside of you. That's for some reason we've lost our way or lost sight of it, and life just happens. And the next thing you know, you look up 30 years later, and then you start telling yourself this lie: it's too late. I say in my opening of the show, where there's breath, there's hope. That's scriptural. You know, um, by say sheer fact you're here and breathing, there's hope. That means that it's never too late. Never too late. Um, you got to feed your faith. Yes. You know, you yes. got to feed your faith. We feed our Amen. fear, don't we, Terry? Mm-hmm. We feed our yes. fear. Yes. We got to yes. feed our faith. Talk about yes. that. So take time for yourself each day to do what it is that you want to do. Look, write your dream down. When you write it, it becomes real to you. And then write down the actions that you need to take to implement it, okay? And each day, you got to set aside some time for you. Even if it's only 15 minutes, set aside that time for you. Yeah, you got the kids, but the kids got to go to bed at one time, okay? Sometime. So when they go to bed, then that becomes your me time. Okay, carve out some space in your closet and 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 have your little dream board or or your goals that you want and put that in your closet and look at it every day, every morning before the kids get up or every evening when the kids go to bed. That's your time. Okay, when you're at work, when you're going on lunch on lunch break. Let that be your me time to accomplish something on your goal list, you know. Just and then check it off. But what happens when we're establishing our goals, we make them so wide till it's going to take us years to get through that one thing. Make it simple. Make it simple and then cross it off. And when you do, when you accomplish that, celebrate, celebrate, because when you celebrate, it makes you feel good and it keeps you going. And you say, well, how do I celebrate? I, you know, I don't have the money to celebrate. Listen, if you just call up somebody and say, guess what I did today? You all can celebrate with that. I did it. I did it. I did it. And then put on your favorite song and just, you know, celebrate the times. Come on. You know, little things can make a big difference. They really can. Um, There's a lot, a lot of what you're talking about, Terry, has a direct correlation to our health. Mm -hmm. It really does. 
the chemicals that are the feel good chemicals in our brain, dopamine, serotonin, um, yes. they are tr- motivated, impacted tremendously. The production of them, the amount that you have that, that kind of stabilizes you um, is tremendously impacted by your state of mind. Mm-hmm. We're not talking about a mental health issue. We're talking about how you feel, how you, your outlook. Are you negative or right. are you positive? Right? Right. Are you a mm-hmm. problem solver? Right? Or do you or problem spend more starter. time? <laughs> right? <laughs> Ooh, and that's the truth. Or do you spend more time uh, just really thinking about the problem, not from a solutions mindset? Mm-hmm. And so a lot of that is what, Terry, you're talking about. Um, I like the goal setting part. You know, I really do. In fact, as a just real tangible step here for people that are that are tuned in, um, that are looking for real change, they're really serious about a new me in 23. Um, it starts with setting goals. Mm-hmm. Look, I, I remember the old days, you'd see the commercials where somebody's trying to work out at the gym and they'll say, go get a picture of what you want to look like. And you put that in front of you. You put that on the locker room door. You put it on the mirror. Every day you get up, you're staring at somebody that you want to look like. Well, you know what? Wouldn't it be great if you had yourself to put up there? I don't want to look like somebody else. I want to look like what I'm supposed to look like. So yes. let's start with what do you want to look like? What's your life mm-hmm. want to look like? Mm-hmm. And it's okay to start setting goals for yourself. Mm-hmm. Like what mm-hmm. kind of car do I want to drive? What kind mm-hmm. of house would I like to be in? It's not a materialistic discussion that all of life surrounds or surrounds the, the, the things that you have. Some people are just happy and content with just simple. And that's, that's you. That's okay. Mm-hmm. The point is mm-hmm. there's something in your life when you do inspection that you'd want to change perhaps or work on. Right. And, but, but so, so you want to set goals. Do I have a financial goal this year? Do I have a weight loss goal year, this year? Do I want to see my medication reduced this year? Yes. Do you want to see relationships come together? Do I want to establish some new relationships? What is it that you're seeking to see happen in 2023? And you got to write it down. I love that, Terry. Write it down. Be clear about it. I love it, Terry. You want to eat the elephant one bite at a time. Set realistic goals. Yes, yes, I would like to be perhaps a millionaire. I can't be thinking about a millionaire if I'm not a 10,000 heir yet. The point is, you get the point, right? I think it was uh, Dr. King that said we're coming up on, on, on an anniversary time for, the, mm-hmm. for Dr. Martin Luther King, January the 16th. And I just take a moment to say, you know what? I believe I believe it was, was he who said uh, faith is taking the first step when you can't see the entire staircase. Oh, yes, he did. That's so powerful. <laughs> yes, yes, so yes, yes. Don't focus on how bad it looks. The whole mm-hmm. real walk of faith is that mm-hmm. regardless of where you want to be, regardless of where you are, let's start at that first step. Mm-hmm. Getting from where you are to where you need to be is a walk of faith, isn't it, Terry? And it's one step at a time. One step at a time. Just like, just like when people say, I want to come out of debt. Okay, it happened overnight. Usually it doesn't happen overnight. You know, contrary to when the movie Be Witch was out, when she would just go put her nose or go like this, and then it happened. Well, in real life, you can't go na, 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 and snap your fingers and it happens. So what you do is you sit down with your bills and you come up with a plan and you start small. You know, sometimes if you take the smallest bill and you pay towards that and pay that off, that gives you the excitement of going towards the others, okay? But you come up with a plan and they call it the snowball effect where you put your bills from the lowest to the highest and then you pay off the smaller bills first. And then what you were paying towards the smaller bill, you roll it into the next bill and the next smallest bill and you pay that off. And then as you're paying off your bills, you got to celebrate because that's some good feeling. That's a good feeling when you're paying off debt. Woo! You know, you celebrate. And that keeps you motivated, starting small, and you just keep inching forward until you have it. And that way, you can snap your fingers and say, I did it. I did it. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know, Terry, the, 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 the manifestation of our biggest dreams, I believe, starts with the simplest of steps. Mm-hmm. I think the biggest dreams we would hope to see happen in our life will probably start with the simplest decisions. So if you're like, I want to pay those bills, right? Watch this. I want to get those bills paid. Mm-hmm. And you say, you know what? I'm going to have all my bills paid off. Here's what Terry's saying. We'll make, make it simple for me to understand. Declare, I'm going to have all my bills paid off. It has a goal. It's a big goal. We'll write it down. Maybe one credit card, right? Maybe maybe mm-hmm. something we want to get paid or maybe something mm-hmm. we want to save up for, right? You mm-hmm. write that down. And then about six months into the year, you look down and it's simply, it's the same thing. It's only something written on a piece of paper. Nothing's happened. That's right. And then, you know, you call Terry and you say, Terry, I need help. You show up on the show, Damon, I, I set this goal for myself. I want to pay these bills off and nothing's happening. Well, that's your goal. But the first dis- biggest dream starts with the simplest decisions. Mm-hmm. What's the decision? Mm-hmm. And you don't even have your budget. Mm-hmm. You have not even sat down and developed your budget. Mm-hmm. You want to save up, but you haven't developed how much you're going to be able to save each month, Mm -hmm. right? That's a simple step. What you're going to get on this show is practical steps. We may give you one step in the right direction, and you got it from there. Or we may walk you through step by step to get there, right? Or you might get to some brick wall, and you're trying to climb the wall. And it's like, I did all of this, but... There seems to be something as a barrier to help me push through or get over or get under what's going on. That's what this show is about. Mm -hmm. But it starts with you, big dream, set a goal. But now, what is your first step to get there? I want to be a songwriter. And one day I'm going to write all these songs. And you haven't even gone to the store to buy yourself a book to write them. Start writing. Yes. I want to write. Well, start writing. Mm -hmm. I want to lose weight. Well. Let's get started. Walk if we mm-hmm. can. Move more mm-hmm. steps. I want to feel, mm-hmm. man, I'm so tired of being, wake up in the morning. I feel so tired of being sick and tired. All right. Well, what, how many, this just happened. How many hours of sleep do we need? Mm-hmm. Listen, man, we got a plan. We got a plan for the mm-hmm. best version of you, right? That's right. You need, That's right. maybe you only need five hours. No, well, maybe somebody else needs five. You need eight. We got a plan for that. Damon, oh, it's so overwhelming. I got so much going on. I don't even know where to start. Terry said it right. Listen, get yourself a good cup of whatever comfort drink you enjoy. Coffee, tea, cocoa. Pull yourself up to that dining room table or kitchen bar or sofa with your laptop or pad on your lap. Quiet the room. Tell everybody around you, I just need some quiet time. Get into a place. Clear your mind. Say for the next 30 minutes, I'm not going to worry about anything. I'm going to set some goals for myself. And I'm going to take my hand and pencil and pad of paper if it's got to be that simple. And I'm going to write step one. Step one. Terry, that's what you're talking about. So many people Absolutely. don't even do that. We're yes. going to, though, aren't we? Mm -hmm. And then get an accountability partner, somebody that you can report to that you've completed that action. And when you do that, then you have someone, not only do you share that you've done this because it's going to make you feel good sharing the good news that you've, uh, you've, you've crossed off or checked off one goal, one thing that you plan on doing. And then you celebrate that. You celebrate. And then after you celebrate that, you move on to the next thing. But it it doesn't have to be hard. It's just writing it down and checking it off once you've done it. Well, and I, w- I want to, uh, Damon. I just I want to talk about something because I know a lot of a lot of people out there are looking for the love of their lives. Mm. Okay, and I I want to share with you this quote that I found. And I, and I think you all may want to lean in on this one, okay? <laughs> Never go in search of love. Go in search of life. 
Mm. And life will find you the love you seek. Wow. That's powerful. Marinate on that. Marinate on that. I'm not going to add a thing to that. I'm going to let them marinate because <laughs> that's powerful. We could do an mm -hmm. entire show on that, couldn't we, Terry? <laughs> I've uh, got a question and is there a connection between um, passion and purpose? Um, straightforward question. Terry, you want to take a, take a shot at that? Is yes. there a, Usually there a connection your passion, passion is your, I'm sorry. Usually your passion is your purpose. It is. It's one and the same. Okay. Because when you find out, and Damon, you said this earlier during the earlier uh, part of the show, the live show, you said your passion turns into your purpose it is your purpose okay when you are good at doing something and sometimes you're better than anybody else is about something but you're really good that's your gift and that is what you were gifted with as your purpose in life to share with the world that's good okay that's good that's good we um we want to make sure everybody we've got time for the questions. We are getting a lot of questions coming in and I'm very excited to see that people from other district, uh, dis, uh, digital platforms that are tuning into our program, maybe listening awesome. to it or watching it, uh, not just YouTube. Uh, so that's great. The word's getting out and by the way, please share the word, uh, for the link, share with somebody, uh, what we're doing here, have them tune in. You may have somebody that's got a question. So, you know what, that's, that's a really good question. Tune into the show and ask it. They'll they'll get to it and answer it. So we want to get to these questions. Uh, what if, here's one, uh, what if I don't have a support partner, uh, what else works? That's a very good question. So someone's watching and I would imagine, hey, this is great, Terry. Um, I heard a few minutes ago, Damon used the term battle buddy. I heard you talk about get somebody that, you know, could be mm -hmm. an accountability partner or what have mm -hmm. you. So this this is someone asking, well, what if I don't have that? You know, what if it's just me or or, or what if I'm just not, what if I'm not comfortable yet to involve anybody in, in my world? You know, I know I, I I know I need somebody to walk it with me. What do I what do I do? What else works if you don't have a support partner other than what we know, everybody? We know where we have help, right? But uh exactly, exactly down down, down the street on the phone or, or next door neighbor. We sometimes we need somebody in the vicinity, right? To help mm -hmm. us walk it. What do you what do you mm -hmm. say? Sometimes the person that you least expect is right there in front of you and you just have not even noticed that that person is there for you. It could be a relative. It could be a brother, a sister, a cousin. You know, it doesn't have to be a friend, but someone that you trust. OK, and just write it down. And, and if you don't have that person, if you just don't, you know, you can't figure out who that person is, then let it be yourself write it down and then follow up with yourself okay and as i mentioned before make a list of the things that you want to do and as you do it you check it off and then you celebrate with yourself okay no. No. all right that you can do that because sometimes we we don't want we may not want to share what we want to do we may no. not want to tell the world just yet everything that we're doing so no. you just make you know, go find you. If when you get the book, you'll see that there is space in the book for you to write out what it is you want to do. And as you do it, you check it off and then you have your own little celebration. Okay. <laughs> That's good. That's yes. good. I do like the, um, I do like your, your, your point about you first established, Hey, get somebody, you know, you're right. We compete with ourselves mm -hmm. to win in life. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, we are our own accountability partner. Mm -hmm. Nobody's going to be more honest with you than you, mm -hmm. generally speaking. But funny thing is, you know, that word honesty as pertains to us honest with ourselves comes with some catches. Mm -hmm. One of them is we don't always see ourselves the way the rest of the world sees us, you know? Yes. Now, I, yes. I think my communication style is great until my wife or daughter's tell me it's not. <laughs> it's true, man. I listen, I got boys in the house and, and, uh, we got, but the women run, run the house. We got more women in the house than men and me, my two boys and, uh, and my Yorkie Watson, I'm gonna have him on the show at some point. You know what I learned? Uh, I learned to be a little more sensitive and a little bit more self-aware 
when I thought one style of communication works, when, when you got five people in the house, uh, you, we sometimes have to adapt our communication, right? To the speaker. Mm -hmm. It's not a mm -hmm. negative. It's being self-aware. Mm -hmm. So if you're only in your head, as Terry said earlier in the show, if you're only looking at yourself through your lens, it might, might not be a good thing. Um, we need an accountability partner. It's really what we need. Somebody who, Terry, you said it right, that you can trust. Mm -hmm. It's going to speak straight to you. There's mm -hmm. an organization called Alcoholics Anonymous. Everybody's heard of it. Maybe someone has been through that program. Um, here's what we know. We've seen it in movies and TV shows. First thing that you see is somebody stands up and says, hi, I'm an alcoholic. What's happening there? They stand up in front of a group of people and they admit they have a problem. That's a big step, man. Mm -hmm. Now, you may not be ready to stand up in a room full of people and say, I got a problem with my waistline, or I got a problem with eating, or I got a problem with my anger, I got a problem with my finances, I got a problem with this bad relationship I'm trying to get out of, or I got a problem I should be getting into a good one, but I, you know, for whatever reason, I, I, I'm, I'm held back. Here's mm -hmm. the point. Got to find somebody. I, I, we will hire a personal trainer to kick us in the seat and make us show up at the gym to get well. We will go to a doctor, right? And a good one will lean on you, ask you hard questions and check in on you and make sure that you're staying the course. Here at Zoe, do you know what I did? The very principle we're speaking about, I established. I said it was so tough to get through sickness and disease on my own, and I'm the worst patient in the world. I know what to do. I don't do it. I had to have an accountability partner. So I said, what worked for me, I'm going to deploy nationwide. I'm going to have certified health and wellness coaches and consultants to help walk you through. So even here, we say to succeed and be part of the world of Zoe, I'm going to bolt you to a coach. And really what they are, we call them high mileage questions. They're really asking questions you know, already know the answer to. We're just going to lead you to the answer. Got it? You got to have a sounding board. You got to have someone to say, hey, why aren't we on the track today? You said you were going to walk. You're not. Got to be somebody you can trust. Got to be somebody you're going to listen to. Got to be somebody you're not going to get mad at. Give you some feedback. Right. Right. And uh, you real, Terry, you hit the nail right on the head. Zeke, you have a question, I think, from uh, that came into the Atlanta to the Atlanta Center. Yes. Um, I want to let you you bring the next question in for Terry or myself. Yes, this is actually from Dan in Washington. Actually, um, he wants to know, what is your advice for encouraging my wife who seems depressed? Uh, she says she doesn't feel worthy of her dreams. Wow. Mm. Wow, that's wow. great. Yeah. Terry, I'm oh. going to let you take a stab at it. And then I'm gonna, we going to both, we're going to tag team this one. Yeah. You oh, go first. Dang. Okay, well, something brought her to that space that she's in and the thing is have you ever sat down and and just asked her about her dreams and encouraged her because sometimes it could have been where she's so busy helping maybe you with your dreams or your kids with their dreams that her dreams just got just got tucked away and she's forgotten what they look like. And so right now, she's not, maybe it's not so much that she's not feeling worthy of them. She's just have forgotten about her dreams because she's been living for everybody else's dreams. So you can talk to her. You can have her sign up where I can become her coach and work with her with that. But, or she may have a best friend that you know. And you can have her talk to her best friend about it. But the bottom line is keep encouraging her. Keep letting her know that it's okay to dream. Get her a journal. Get her the book so she can sign, you know, to write, write it down in there. But get her something where she can have that private time and write down what her dreams are. And as she starts seeing them, it may become more real to her because she has, you got to remember for her to get to that state, she hasn't seen those dreams in years and she's forgotten about it and doesn't feel worthy. So now you got to keep talking to her and encouraging her to write down her dreams. And this is a good month to start it with, with this is being the month of goal setting. Okay. Yeah, that is so good. You know, you, so many people haven't written down the dream. Terry, you're right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
they, mm-hmm. they've fallen short. Yeah. Um, or a lot of people stopped dreaming a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You know, so you you go to that. Terry's one hundred percent right. You go to that table, you know, with yourself. You go to that table of dreaming with yourself, and you sit down and I want to dream big, mm-hmm. and something stops you. Um, so many people, uh, Dan, uh, feel the same way. They don't feel they deserve it. A lot of people don't feel they deserve to dream. Um, there's a pathway. If it's shame, by the way, if it's shame, if it's if it's shame, if they are haven't been able to let go of something that happened in the past, okay, which would cause them to say, "I don't deserve to dream." Um, there's a pathway to forgiveness, and it starts here with you. We can, we we can never be forgiven if we don't forgive ourselves first, you know. And whatever it was, whatever it is, isn't that the past? Does it matter? I tell people so many times, you know where my past matters? My past matters as, as education, as, a, as something to point me in the right direction if I might happen to go there again or think about going there again. Or the past is something that happened. We made it through, maybe by the skin of our teeth, left some chaos in our wake. Some people were hurt, right? Whatever. But it's the past. Forgive ourselves and we recognize that it's the thing that makes us who we are in a positive way it builds our muscles mm-hmm. it builds our we get wisdom from that experience oh definitely able to properly guide someone else mm-hmm. they're they're facing a decision but most of all you have to understand that that it's not your future my father's greatest my father used to preach the last sermon of his life was don't judge my future by my past Mm-hmm. That was my father's declaration that beginning this moment now, the past is only there to serve as a guidepost. And it's the culmination of my experience, but it doesn't define who I am. Mm-hmm. Who you are is based on the decisions you make now mm-hmm. and the steps you take going forward. So you first have to tell her, hey, the past is the past. The whole point of dreaming, the whole essence of what a dream is, it's it, it's 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 something that hasn't happened yet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The scripture mm-hmm. faith is the evidence of things hoped for, the substance of things not not seen. You got that right? Mm-hmm. Hebrews eleven mm-hmm. one. Um, very there's so many quotes to feed you to say you know the whole point of dreaming is that you're setting a goal for yourself, and part of that goal is who I'm going to be in the future, and who that is is not who I was in the past. You got it? Um, yes. And then finally, just to tell you, because it's it, Terry, if I may, because a question came in right on the heels of that one that they handed me. Um, I get discouraged when I feel like I'm failing. It's all right there in that same sandbox. OK, you don't you don't quit. There's a difference. You don't quit. There's a difference. I don't think you failed. I don't think you failed till you quit. I don't think you failed till you quit. Fail. Fail. You just. Failure? What is that? You, well, failure. I made a mistake. So what? Pick yourself <laughs> up. Let's do it right the next time. So f- failure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I let somebody down. Apologize. Mm-hmm. Let's not do it again, mm-hmm. right? And, and go back and make good, right? F- we learn by getting up. Yes. Not by falling down. So don't look at falling down, dropping the ball, making a mistake, making somebody mad, calling somebody a name, getting into a fight, leaving your job, getting fired, losing the car. House got to listen. You fell down, but you didn't fail. You fell down. You didn't fail. Now get up. Let's let's strengthen those muscles. We learn. You don't fail to quit. So be encouraged. You set a goal. And if you find yourself on the goal, and Terry, I'm sorry, give you the podium. You find yourself on the goal. And, you know, people, people that do Zoe here. How about this? People that do Zoe, they'll call in or they're right on the say, Oh, my coaches tell me all the time, oh, I just got a phone with somebody. How did it go? I'm looking for, they're great. And oh, they're doing really bad today. Why? So many times. Well, they were really discouraged. Why? Well, you know, they cheated. What do you mean? Well, they blew it. Man, they were on the, the program, driving inflammation down, dropping weight, positive thinking, you know, all this, these goals they set for themselves and they, they, they dropped the ball. They fell down. They went out and got a cheeseburger with fries 
large shake, went home, watched a movie. They should binge eating, got in a fight, kicked the cat. I mean, listen. And I yes. say, I say, you know what? That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. That was yesterday. That's right. Yesterday doesn't define today. Yesterday will define your tomorrow. If you live in yesterday, did you get mm -hmm. that? Yesterday mm -hmm. will define your tomorrow. Mm -hmm. you live in mm -hmm. yesterday. Mm -hmm. So even when you're in the midst of doing it and you know you're failing, and you know you're falling, your mindset and the process of falling will determine everything. Terry, take it from there. And I would say to that gentleman, you know, take her on a dream date. And wrap a, a journal up in a as a gift and hand it to her and let her know that you heard her. So good. And you're with her. And that from this day forward, we want to search for your dream and I'm going to help you reach it. So good. So good. Hey, Terry, I want to thank you for being on the on the uh, program with us today. First part and the after show. Um, it's such a delight to see you. It always is. You're so encouraging. You are an encourager, but you always put meat on the bone. You know, you don't just make me feel good. You give me some reasons to feel good specifically. And you, I always walk away with some steps that I can take. And I hope that you watching that, that, that you feel the same. Um, yes. Connect with us. Um, sorry to give myself some old promotion here, but smash up the likes, if you will hit the notification bell so that when we push these shows out, you can get notified that we dropped another one. You may not watch us live. I invite you to every day, one o'clock Eastern, noon Central. I do this every day. Have lunch with me if you want. And uh, let's just let's break the bread together, so to speak, as they say, and let's unpack life um, and share. If, if something in this program today is good for you, there's a little share arrow. Uh, you can share it, share it with somebody. Tell them to tune in at 12 minutes, or whatever seconds that that part ministered to you, if you will, spoke to you, helped you, uplifted you, answered a question for you. Your engagement is critical. We'll be here regardless of how many people we have. Um, thousands of people coming through our centers every single month, calling us, coming through the doors, asking for help in different areas of their life. And, you know, I say weight loss is a byproduct. It's secondary. It's what happens by default, naturally, when we get a hold of the other things in our life. We're not your pastor. This isn't the church. It's not your church. Uh, we're not your we're not your doctor, unless you become a patient. We're, we we might be your health coaches, hoping to do that. But what we are is we are an organization that's going to come alongside you and be part of the conversation. And I'm going to bring to you the stuff that maybe you won't read about. Maybe you won't hear about, but again, give you a platform to get right to it. So, and ask those questions. So subscribe and connect with us. And then don't forget our, our special promotion. Share that with somebody. You may not need to lose any weight. You might, might be in tip top health. Share it with somebody. Say, hey, they're giving away a $2,000 value to enroll in, uh, in their program. It's called Zoe 30. We say 30 pounds in 30 days, healthy, and people are doing it all over the place. People are losing weight, getting off medication, getting happy. Uh, Anti-aging works. They're looking good. And uh, you deserve that too. Terry, I want to invite you back. Um, want to know if we could kind of lean on you. If, if we have, you know, we need an expert to come in. We're going to start having people come on the show and work with them. I told you about the podcast. We're going to do some of that on the show. Can I call you on a on the fly if somebody needs a lifeline? Lean on me <laughs> when you're not strong. <laughs> you got a friend. <laughs> All right. We thank you so much. That's so good. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, everyone, you can reach me at www. Coach Terry Crook, T E R R I C R O O K. <laughs> I'm going to repeat that, Terry, just in case they don't get it on the lower thirds. 
Okay. Uh, Terry, T E R R I, crook, C R O O K dot com. Terry? Dot com. And mm-hmm. but coach at the front. Coach, coach. Terry Crook. Yes. Great. Coach, yes. Terry Crook dot com. And, uh, and again, we're giving away 20 books. So uh, it might already be locked up. Haven't looked. When I go back to my desk, I might have all 20 and then some emails waiting for me to send me Terry's book. If for any reason you, you don't want to, you just want to uh, buy one, hey, Amazon, you'll find it. Uh, get it in your hands. It'll change your life. Terry, thank you so much. Zeke, back to you. Wrap us up. Thank you. Damon, can I say one more thing before she wraps up? Okay, real quick. Those of you out there um, uh, who are leaders in your, your in the corporate world or with your businesses, this is the time of year you're trying to establish new goals for the year with your teams and you want to motivate them. I would love to come and motivate them, get them ready to accomplish those goals that you're setting for the new year. So just go to my website, www.terrycrook.com if you'd like me to come out and motivate everybody for a winning, winning year. Wow. Thank you, Terry, so much. Zeke, back to you. Yes. What an amazing show today. Remember, we are here every day from 1 to 1.30 p.m. Eastern time and our after show from 1.30 to 2 p.m. We will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much.